Well, uh, good afternoon, everyone. Hope uh, hope you're having a good. It's foggy here. I don't know what it is there. Hope uh, hope whatever it is, you're having a great day. It is day 295 of uh, Church in the Time of Quarantine. It is January 7th, so the day after Epiphany. Uh, on this day in 1536, well, yesterday we talked about Henry VIII getting married for the fourth time. Uh, well, today in 1536, his first wife, Catherine of Aragon, uh, well, she died on this day. Uh, 1714, the typewriter was patented by uh, Englishman Henry Mill. Uh, I guess they didn't actually build a typewriter until a little while later, but he patented it today. So I don't know why he didn't build it after he patented it, but anyway... It took a while. And then uh, 1800, uh, Millard Fillmore, the 13th president of the United States, was born on this day. He holds the distinction of being the only president named Millard. He'll probably hold that distinction for some time to come. Uh, no announcements for today, uh, so that gets us straight into trivia. Uh, yesterday, the question was to name the, uh, the president who was, what number was he? Sorry, I have to look at my notes. He was the 26th president, so 10 after Millard, no, 13 after Millard Fillmore, uh, and known for uh, his charge up San Juan Hill. That president was Teddy Roosevelt, and we had uh, we had a lot of correct answers. So after Walter Mondale got none, Teddy, everyone liked Teddy. So the correct answers came from Bonnie McCormick, John True, Lee Nelson, Eric Bay, and Glenn Jones. So congratulations to all of you for your uh, your correct answers on that one. Today we move to the world of astronomy, uh, so it's a name this planet. Uh, so on this day in 1610, uh, Galileo Galilei, uh, he discovered the four moons of this gas giant planet. Um, so if you know the four moons of this gas giant planet, he discovered on this day, and here's your one a little hint, he named one of them, I think he named them, I assume he did, someone named them. One of those moons is named Europa. So if you know the gas giant Galileo discovered the four moons of on this day, and one of them is named Europa. So send that on in uh, for your trivia of the day. All right, well, uh, that gets us to our reflection. Today we have uh, one from Teresa of Avila, and uh, we'll end with a prayer. Uh, she says this, Christ has no body now on earth but yours, no hands but yours, no feet but yours. You are the eyes through which is to look out Christ's compassion to the world. Yours are the feet with which he is to go about doing good. Yours are the hands with which he is to bless men now. All right, and uh, we're going to end with a prayer uh, for the knowledge of God's creation. Almighty and everlasting God, you made the universe with all its marvelous order, its atoms, worlds, and galaxies, and the infinite complexity of living creatures. Grant that as we probe the mysteries of your creation, we may come to know you more truly and more surely fulfill our role in your eternal purpose. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. All right. Well, have a wonderful day and uh, talk to you tomorrow.